everybody welcome back to today obviously you know because you clicked on the video so you read the title today is my New York City haul so it's everything that I bought while I was in New York City plus a couple other things <laughs> because I want to do a haul I want to do a Bath and Body Works haul for a while and I just haven't done it yet so I'm like you know what I'll just like add it on to this haul and it'll be a long one and it'll be fun so grab a cup of coffee or tea or how loud was that I don't know um, and let's get started I'm so excited oh my gosh okay so first things first, I'm going to show you guys what I got in New York and then I'll add the extra stuff on at the end. So if you guys didn't see my New York City vlog, where I actually vlogged my trip in New York, um, I will have it linked in the cards if you want to check it out. That's also a long video, so if you want something to watch while you're just like cleaning your house or something like that, that's a good one. Um, so first things first, I went to Sephora and I didn't actually buy too much. I I had planned to do so much shopping in New York and then I just got too busy and also my suitcase was pretty small so I didn't have a lot of extra room and plus my Canadian debit card stopped working. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, um, so I didn't buy as much as I would have liked but then you'll see, this is going to be a long haul. So first things first, I bought this thing, it's the Foreo, is that how you pronounce it? For Foreo? Foreo? It's like, it's kind of like a Clarisonic but not, um, it's like all silicone-y and it has like a little rubber thing and you press it and it vibrates and you use it to wash your face and I've seen this everywhere and I was like should I buy a Clarisonic and then I saw this in the little checkout line of Sephora which is like the most dangerous place because you just keep grabbing stuff and then you end up spending like hundreds of dollars more than you think you wanted to um, or than you initially wanted to so this was $40 and it's a lot cheaper than like the full size it's like the mini and it's not rechargeable but um, it said it has like a hundred uses or something like that, so I figured that's long enough to know if I actually like it, and it's really satisfying, so I'm a fan. And it comes in a bunch of colors, but I got like the pale pink one. And then I also got blotting papers from Bosha, um, Bosha, Bosha, uh, but they're the green tea scent. I actually have super dry skin, so I never need these, um, but it was really, really humid in New York that day, and I was walking to the conference that I was at, and I was already sweating my makeup off, and I'm like, I so I got this and it works pretty well and it, sm it smells like green tea which is which is nice <laughs> and then the most fun thing I got um this is also in the line of waiting to pay is the Huda, Huda Beauty Huda Beauty um make <laughs> I okay I watch beauty videos all the time I haven't filmed one so this is new for me um it's the Huda Beauty Mo Obsessions eyeshadow palette it's like the mini ones I think it was like $35 and it's gorgeous oh my gosh I'm gonna swatch it and like zoom you guys in but it's beautiful oh you're supposed to cover the mirror aren't you um it's so so pretty I love these colors normally I go for like browns and golds in my eyes but I was like let's just try this one and um, I'm so happy I did it and now I want all the other ones so pretty I also went to Walgreens because that just like run errands as well and I picked up some false eyelashes um, from Eyelore with um, and Nikki Philippi. I love Nikki Philippi. She seems such, such a nice person and I'm actually wearing them right now if you guys can see. Um, when you're filming a video your eyelashes never show up so you have to put on falsies to like make it look like how regular eyelashes would look in real life. That's that's what I've learned. It's really frustrating um, but these I love them because they look natural enough that you can wear them out like in person and I don't feel weird about it um, my eyelashes are luckily very long anyways so I don't feel the need to like add stuff um, and I don't like wearing the super super dramatic lashes because it just it looks I think it's too heavy for my eyes um, but these are really really nice and I went on I website and they don't sell them anymore so um, so I, I'm trying to be very, very delicate with these because I love them. It's the flirty feline and um, they're three quarter length because I hate full length lashes because it just irritates the middle of my, like the corner of my eye. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Um, so I love the three quarter length and they're very, very wispy and natural looking, which I appreciate. And I also got this. This is the, um, I went to Drain Reed. Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne Reed, not Walgreens apparently. Um, it's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color In. Flirt or flirtation? It says both names. Either way, it's like a corally orange color. If you guys saw my makeup in the New York vlog, um, whenever I was wearing a corally lip color, it was this one. And the reason why I love this so much is that it stays on all day. The reason why I don't usually wear bright lipstick is because I'm, it feels so high maintenance because I feel like the second I wear it and then step away from the mirror, it's like gonna smudge or it's gonna wear off, or it's gonna get on my teeth and all this kind of stuff. Um, but this actually stays the whole day and you do have to touch it up. It starts to fade a little bit 
um, after eating, but it does stay for a significant amount of time. Um, the other nude lipstick that you may have seen me wearing recently that wasn't this is also the same brand, but it's another shade. I'll link them both in the description box below. And you kind of like go past the outline of your lips to make your lips look a lot more full, which is what I usually do when I wear lipstick. Um, and it's wonderful, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a long wearing lipstick. It's like a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry out at all. Okay, so next I went to Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel is one of my favorite, favorite stores ever. We don't have any in Canada, so I usually like order online if I'm buying from them. Um, but when I was in New York, they have like their flagship store there, so I knew that I needed to go. So I got this little dog toy, Paddington staring at it like, give it to me. It is a little perfume bottle and it says Sweet 712. And then on the other side it says Eau de Parfum Sniff Ingredients, lots of love. And um, it squeaks. So like shaky the like, every time I squeeze it. You want it? Okay. When I came home I gave it to Paddington and Treacle and Treacle's like, I don't care about me and Paddington like played with it the whole day, so. You need a good puppy. I also got this ring. I'm gonna zoom in because there's no way you can see it. I wasn't expecting to buy this and I've seen it online. I didn't really like it when I saw it online, but in store it's so sparkly. It was so pretty. I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself and get it. And I've been wearing it so often. Um, I love it. I think it's so pretty and it's like very neutral, but um, it goes with everything, but it's also a little extra, which I like. So, yeah. Next is the exciting purchase. It's the one that I hid from you guys. It's the thing that I had to like pile on top of my purse when I was um, flying back to kind of like make it into one carry on. So, oh, what is this? What is this? I'm so excited. Okay, so this is like my favorite thing in the world. I've wanted it for so long. And um, my good friend that I met up with, her name is Ariel. I talked about her in the vlog. Um, she designed a bag actually for Henry Bendel, which is amazing. Um, I'll have a link in the description box below. It's called the. Um, the binocular bag and um, I ordered it actually online so I'll show you guys somewhere on YouTube um, when it when it arrives um, but anyways so she works for coach uh, like they're I think she's a technical designer I think that's her position either way she gets a massive discount everywhere um, so we went so she got me a discount on the bag at Kate Spade and oh my god I'm so excited I've wanted this for so long because I feel like it's so on brand but Look at this! It looks like a basket of strawberries. Oh my god, but it's a purse. And it opens like this. Is there, is there anything in there? No. And it's like striped in the middle. Like how, how perfect is this? Oh my gosh. I wore it out once so far and it felt so weird carrying it. Like it didn't feel like it was actually a purse. I'm like, why am I carrying a basket of strawberries? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? And it is actually on sale online. So if you guys want to check it out, um, it's not full price anymore, which is fabulous. So, oh my God, like how, how cute is this? Like for any, even like meeting, especially based on like my brand, like bringing this in, it would be such a conversation piece. I love the case. And I only ended up paying like 200 bucks for it instead of like the original like 500 or something, which is amazing. So, yay. All right, and next I went into Zara. So I went into Zara, um, but because of the issues with my debit card, I couldn't withdraw any extra money and I went for my money way sooner, like the cash I had way faster than I had expected. So I didn't want to buy too much. Also, I had limited space in my luggage. So I bought two things from Zara, but um, there was a list of stuff that I saw in store that I wanted to get. So I'm like, I'll just order it or buy it when I'm in Canada because there is a Zara in Canada. Oh, like they're, 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 they're all over. So I'm like, why am I buying stuff that I can buy in Canada? Um, but I just like the stuff was so nice and when I came back actually I went online and everything was on sale and it wasn't when I was in New York so I think it worked out pretty, pretty well so it's a pretty big haul from Zara so I'll show you the stuff that I actually got in New York and then I'll show you the other stuff that I ordered online um it still counts as a New York haul because I was inspired to shop at Zara while I was in New York so <laughs> stretch but whatever so I got two of the same thing in different colors because um, I don't I love like my style is like classic and a neutral but also like pops of color I think that's my style um, and so anytime that I see like a good basic I'm kind of just like drawn to it and I need it so this is a maxi dress and it's just like a tank top it's long look how long and it's ribbed as you guys can see so it's just like a tank but on the it has like a bit of a split up the left thigh have thigh kind of area 
And then there's these like little gold buttons where the split is. I think I'm going to remove the higher buttons just because I feel like it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I like them along the little split area anyways, if you guys can see that. Uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> is that the right way? I don't know. And then I got the exact same one in black. And so I think I either need to get the straps shortened. I don't know. I have a really good tailor in Toronto who can do it. Um, but um, it, they, it does scoop pretty low, like around the bust. And my bust is pretty full anyways. I'm not happy with that, but you get what you get. Um, so I have to wear something underneath or it's going to be like so in everybody's face. So um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what tank I can wear underneath. But yeah, the black one is so pretty too. And it's like, it's just such a good basic. And I love basics like this, where you can just like throw it on and you look like so polished and finished and um, it's easy. So that's what I physically bought in store. And they're very heavy. I, I'm really impressed with what Zara came out with this time or like what's available right now because the stuff feels quite good quality. Um, sometimes it's hit and miss. Um, I, I do like Zara. I buy their tank tops from them all the time. Um, but yeah, these are like heavy. They have weight to them, which I appreciate. So there we go. Um, so the stuff I ordered online from Zara. First thing is the one, the shirt that I'm wearing. It's a crop top, if you can see. Um, like sucking in as I'm showing you that it's a crop top. Um, but it's so cute. I love it so much. It's just, it's, um, it's ribbed as well. And it's green and navy. I thought it was black, but it's navy and white. I think it's so cute. Alright. And then I have the box back here so I'll just rifle through it back here so I think it'll be easier. Next is this little sheer sweater and it's polka dot and can you see that it's sheer? Yes you can see my arm like through it and so I think that this is so cute for like the summer if you have like a black tank top underneath this and then like you put your hair in a bun and you wear big black sunglasses I'm like oh my god that's so chic and like easy you could just throw it on if you're going to grab a coffee or something and it's a little shorter than I expected it hits like right at the hip um, I like things that go usually like halfway down my butt or just like that just show the bottom of my butt um, because I feel like that's the most flattering length on me but um, when you buy online you get what you get so <laughs> I didn't know but I'm still happy with that I think it's really really cute and then I got this tank top and this I bought to maybe wear under those um, maxi dresses that I showed you guys before so it's like a lacy tank. It's shorter or it's like wider than I thought. I thought it was going to be tighter, but I'm, you can either take it in or just work with it. Um, but it's just black and it has lace on top, if you can see. Next is the cutest mini skirt ever. Look at it. So it's striped and then the bottom is like red scalloped, but like it's actually a scalloped edge so it's not just like a pattern and then it ends like a flat edge it finishes in like a little scallop edge how cute is this like I think it's so cute whenever I go on a date next this is like so the skirt I'm wearing I think it's so cute and then next is something that I'm still trying to figure out how to wear but I knew that I wanted it I knew I was gonna struggle with it but I really wanted it so I got it anyways um, it's this. So it's, can you see that it's sheer? Yes, because you can see my shirt through it. So it's like a champagne colored shirt. It's like a big kind of t-shirt style with, um, with like a little nice finishing on the sleeves and like the bottom hem. Um, and so it's a little darker there, but you can either wear it, I don't know, with like a black bra might be a stretch for me. I don't think I'd do that, but even with like a, a nude tank top, so it just looks like nice and like I don't know, clean underneath, but then you can see that it's sheer with like black pants or something. I think that would look really cute. But yeah, like if I put my hand through it, you can you can see how sheer it is. <laughs> Alright, so next I got sweaters. Sweaters are my most favorite thing in the world. I don't think I'll ever be finished buying them until I have one in every color and then even then I'll be like, no, but this is a different style. So, um, my favorite uniform are skinny jeans, but really like oversized sweater and high heels. It's like, oh, I think it's so chic and so pretty. I love it so much. So I didn't have a green sweater and so these were on sale and I think that like, I don't wear green or olive really at all, except for today. Um, so I was just like, it's time to get a green sweater. So this is a green sweater and it has like, the sleeves come to like a little bit of like a balloon knit, I think that's what it's called. So it's a bit tighter around the cuff. 
um, but it's so soft it feels so like nice and cozy and this is like a really pretty olive green sweater and then I got the same one and well the color was strawberry which I think is a very accurate name it looks more orange on camera um, but it's a little more red it's, it's like strawberry color so I got this one because I don't actually have a red sweater I have so many pink ones but no red and then last thing from Zara is this so I actually saw this in the window um, when I was in New York and I couldn't find it in store I was looking for ages but it is a v-neck sweater and it's actually sparkly so it's like golden can you see does that show I don't know um, it's itchy as hell like oh my god not when you're touching the outside the outside is nice so if somebody hugs you they're not gonna feel itchy but when you're wearing it you're gonna feel itchy so itchy like maybe that's why they got rid of it in store because like if anybody touched it they actually wouldn't want it um, but it's pretty so I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna tough tough it tough it out tough through it um, but yeah I think this would be so cute with like a new tank top underneath as well or um, who knows but I think it's cute and I love that it's metallic my friend years ago she had a metallic sweater from Michael Kors and I still think about it now because I'm just like oh I wish I could like afford clothing at Michael Kors and I'm finally at a point where I can um, but it's like it's one of those things where like you you see it when you're at a point like where you can't afford it where it's not feasible and then like it's like becomes like one of like your goals that you're like I need that to like make me feel like I have like achieved something I don't know um so yeah actually Michael Kors does have metallic sweaters in stock right now but no <laughs> see now that I can't afford it I'm like no it's okay I'll wait I'll buy one at Zara instead and save save my money okay and so next is Bath and Body Works but before I go into Bath and Body Works there's this brand this is not sponsored it's going to sound sponsored because I'm going to be like I, I'm so enthusiastic about them um it's a store called Naked Wardrobe I, I don't know how I found out about it um this isn't why I shop there but I think the Kardashians shop there as well I think um but it's a if you like bodycon style dresses or body suits or stuff that's very figure hugging uh, and you want good quality and like stretchy material go here oh my god this stuff is so pretty the white dresses are they're double lined so you can't see your underwear through them it doesn't need to like be smooth against you or else you will see like a panty line but you won't see the color which I really really appreciate um, and their prices are pretty reasonable they do size small so usually I'm a size small but I have to buy medium there or else the stuff is just too tight too tight and you see every line you see like the the underwire of my bra um, but so I ordered some stuff before New York but it didn't arrive until after but either way I'm happy I got the stuff because so, I love their stuff uh, and there are just so many good basics too like if you want a bodycon skirt or a bodycon dress like a long sleeve one or they have short they have so many different kinds oh my gosh and um, they recently came out with a maternity maternity line as well and they had bikinis and everything the only thing I don't like of theirs are the sweaters because the wool is very scratchy um, but everything else I love I love it all has like this similar material that is just so stretchy and thick and flattering I love it um so this is what I got it's a it's a long no, it's a short sleeve black bodysuit and the um the collar or whatever it's like it's almost a mock neck but it's, it's like high up which I really like um I like that look and it's short sleeve and obviously it has the little the thing and there's like a little clasp down there um, and then I also got a body no a jumpsuit and this is the comfiest thing ever and it looks really really pretty it's on sale now for 25 bucks and I think they have like a dark red one as well um, so if you're looking for something that you can wear with a blazer for a work conference and you want to feel like you're wearing pajamas get it I'll link it below um, so I thought it's gonna be so hard to see because it's black but either way it's like a long full pant length <laughs> And um, it's like a tank top style, but the top, if you can see, it has like a little V where the bust is, and there's wiring in here, so it stays stiff. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit booby for me, um, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, it's so pretty, and it's very flattering, and there's just a zipper up the back, and the back goes all the way up to the top. But I think it's so so pretty and it's so comfortable it feels like pajamas 
So um, I really recommend checking it out. So nice. I love that store so much. I'm like always checking online. Okay. So last is Bath and Body Works. And there's two things that I used already because it was like a month ago that I bought the stuff. And I was trying so hard not to use the candles, but I caved. I caved. <laughs> but I caged. So this is the... I forget the name. But either way, it was a candle in here. It's one of like the trendier, the newer candles with all the the metallic kind of pattern. Um, oh god, I totally forget the name. But either way, it came in the cutest little candle jar, and I wanted, I just wanted this to use like after the fact. So it, obviously, it's like a white color, and then the inside is light pink. And um, I'm still having to wash out. Oh no, it's just stained. The inside is like yellow. And all right, but when it's full, you're not gonna see it. But I thought that this was so cute. It was a little bit more expensive than the regular stuff, um, just because it has like the nicer container. But I think it was cute and totally worth it. Next is the um, Comfort Vanilla and Patchouli Aromatherapy Candle. Um, just because business is being really, really things have been so busy with work and um, having something to kind of make me feel more comforted and. Um, just like warm and fuzzy when I'm doing things that are very outside of my comfort zone. It's nice to have that, <laughs> anything helps. So um, this smells really good. And I've stopped buying the eucalyptus one because eucalyptus is bad for dogs. They can, it can really affect dogs natively and I didn't know that. So it's gone, it's gone. Anything, any candle thing um, that is eucalyptus is gone. So I got some stuff that are like hand creams that aren't going to affect them as much. Um, but yeah, that's why. Normally, like the, the stress relief, the eucalyptus spearmint, I think is like my absolute favorite one and it really, really cuts stress. So next is a little candle holder, but it's like a shallow one. So the candle, it just goes like halfway up the candle and it's rose gold, which I think is really pretty. And um, I'm redecorating my office at the moment and I'll do an office tour eventually. I'll show you guys. I'm so happy with how it looks so far. Um, but everything is like, it's like mixed metals in there with like a slight lean towards white and pink. So um, it's very Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, I thought that this would be a good addition to my office. So I thought this has been so long, like I forget what I bought. Um, a foot fix glycolic acid peel treatment. It's good because I'm on my feet all the time. So a foot peel. I'll let you know how it goes. I clearly haven't tried it yet, but I'm curious. Next is just for fun. I got this little like mermaid fishy um, makeup brush. I don't know even what before I asked them because I was like is it for like a foot mask or like a face mask it's like a brush to, to put on but um, they just said no it's like a makeup brush that is a dense makeup brush though maybe it's supposed to be like a foundation brush I'm not sure I'll figure out a way to use it but it's so cute there's also one that was like more mermaid colors like purple and blue and everything but I think that the rose gold one is cute and Paddington wants it okay also there was a sale this is why I bought so much um the next candle I got was cactus blossom You know, like, it's weird, like, your hormones and everything can change throughout the month, so, like, sometimes a candle will smell good to you and other times it smells awful. This is one of those instances. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay. It's Cactus Blossom. Isn't it so pretty, though, the container? Like, <laughs> I, I love reusing the containers, I like, taking the sticker off and using them to hold, like, makeup brushes or, like, little mini planter for succulents or something like that. Um, and, like, it's... It, the, the color of the jar is definitely a factor when I'm buying candles, so. Yeah, okay, it smells okay. Is there a description? In the States, I think, there's descriptions of the scent on the bottom of the candles, but in Canada, there isn't. I don't understand why. It would be really handy for videos like this. All right, so next I got a little, like, what is it, a room aroma diffuser thing? Wallflower, wallflower, that's what it is. And it's the summer one, and it looks like uh, it has like coral and little like seashells in it. I thought it was so cute. It's like a little lantern. I saw it online. I'm like, I need this. I need this. Like somewhere. It just needs to go somewhere to like summerify my house. I mean, my house is more summery. So there's this. And then they had a deal on um little plug-in things. So this one is Bronze Goddess. I forget what it smells like, but I really, really liked it. Um, fresh cotton because it just smells clean. So it's a really good one for like your bedroom or your bathroom or stuff or literally anywhere. Smelling clean is never a bad thing. And then I think I got, okay, I got a woodland 
another fresh cotton, and bronze goddess. Did I think that this was fresh cotton too? Probably. All right, and next I got a Sea Talks Sea Mineral Body Polish. Um, Mermaid approved, this is cute. Any kind of scrub is always good in the summer because either doing fake tan, you need to exfoliate beforehand, or just to exfoliate to make your skin look nice and smooth and then like moisturizing after. Um, I always make sure to do this when I am going to be wearing something that doesn't cover my legs. Um, like a skirt or something. So there's this, and it's like a cute little bottle. I like the color. Um, next, something I love the scent of. Oh my gosh! So it's the In the Sun Fine Fragrance Mist. Normally, I don't use these. I just use perfume, but this one smells so nice. Okay, actually, it's, it's, it's every, it, you always have to do this during a haul, right? You have to spray it. What's it smell like? It smells like refreshingly floral. If that, what do you think, Patty? Did? And what is this? So this is the Comfort Vanilla and Patchouli Pillow Mist. Okay, I don't know if you just spray it. Sprayed enough already. Um, but this is the same scent as the candle, so I figured before bed I can get the routine of like spraying my pillow. I'm trying to get my bedtime down to like 10.30 at night and then wake up at 5.30, but it's so hard because I'm such a night owl, so when 10.30 comes along, it's like, it feels like it's up, you're asking me to fall asleep in like the middle of the day and um, it's so hard. So I'm trying to like work things in my bedtime and make it actually like something that I want to do. And so maybe that pillow mist will help. Who knows? Next thing I got, little bath salts. When I say that, it um, reminds me of when people used to, what did they used to do? They, they sorted? No, they, they did something, they consumed them and it was bad. Um, but they're, they're mermaid themed as well. And I think the container is like slightly pink, which is really, really cute. But um, it says Restore Sea Salt Bath Soak. Oh, it smells nice. It kind of smells like grapefruit. Ooh, I like it. Good job, Pascala. All right, next is the, this is the Stress Relief. Stress Relief um, Moisturizing Body Cream. So I still want to get something Stress Relief because oh Lord knows I need it. But um, the dogs won't get into this. It's a really boring thing to finish off of, finish off on. Okay, so this is a little container. It's like a little ceramic square container where you put your little dish soaps in it, um, like the little squirty soaps. And I wanted this for my kitchen because I'm trying to keep my kitchen organized. It's really, really hard to do because I'm cooking all the time. Um, but I don't. It just feels like when the little um, soap is just sitting out there. It just, it looks messy or it doesn't look like it has a home, which just looks like it's sitting there. But this matches the aesthetic of my kitchen. So I'm like, if I put this out there and I put the soap in it, maybe it will feel like it's more meant to be there. Who knows? Anyways, my battery is flashing because it's about to die. So what good timing that we are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Um, let me know if you want to see me do more hauls because hauls are so much fun. And, um, yeah, I hope that, um, enjoyed this video. Did I already say that? I don't know. Um, but either way, I'll see you on Monday for an all new video. So stay tuned. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're notified when Monday's video goes live. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.